You have to do the jobs that nobody else is willing to do, because at least you'll do them. You have to do those jobs better than anybody else would do them uh, to get recognized. You have to, well, my experience was that every time, I, I was given smaller jobs than I was capable of doing, because they just wanted to see whether or not I was up to it. And every time I got a job, I replaced someone in a job who was a man, and I replaced him, they took a little thing away. So if, if you had three divisions reporting to me, to the man, when I got it, it had two divisions. Because after all, you wouldn't want to overburden me. And by the time I got to be in my last couple of jobs, that was no longer the case. <clears throat> but I'll tell you what, I smiled politely. I took the jobs. I did them really well. I posted the best results the businesses had ever seen, and then I went on to the next one. And that's how you do it. That's one way. The other, one of the other, um, uh, it wasn't a hurdle so much that I had to overcome, but I was very fortunate that I worked for the same person at Fidelity for 15 of my 17 years. And his name was Bob Reynolds. He's now the CEO of Putnam Investments in Boston. And Bob, as Bob got promoted himself, he was the chief operating officer of the firm at the end, he brought along a team. There were five of us, and all five of us went up with Bob. So he kept a team of people together for a long time. He was completely uninterested in whether you were a man or a woman as long as you delivered what you were supposed to deliver and you were loyal to him. So that, that was the second thing. Um, I do think that you can't underestimate. You're, uh, I'm much older than many of you in the room, and so what you face today is going to be different than what I faced 40 years ago. There were no women in senior management positions at Fidelity Investments when I joined the firm in 1990. None. There was no one higher than a vice president. Um, <clears throat> when I left, I reported directly to the chairman, as did the chairman's daughter. So the two most senior women in the firm, running the firm, were women, not men. So that was a big deal in 17 years. Uh, <clears throat> you, won't, that, you won't find that. You'll find a much more openness to women in the environment. The, the problem is, at the middle, getting from what I call the vice president level to the senior vice president, executive vice president, that's where you start to lose women. And that's where it's trickier. <clears throat>